In order to run code conditionally, we can use Python's built-in if keyword in order to decide whether it should get run or not. If the condition after the if statement is true, the code block is executed. If it's not true, it just gets ignored and Python continues to execute the rest of the code. Let's say that we have an input that we can use in order to get the user's age. Based on their input, we will print you're an adult if the age is greater or equal to 18. If that's not the case, we won't print anything. Since age was greater than 18 in this case, namely 22, the string you're an adult got printed to the console. It's important to remember to write a colon and add indentation. You can indent it by either using tabs or spaces, as long as you stay consistent. So far, we've only seen that code can be executed if the condition is true. However, we can also add optional instructions that let Python know to execute a certain code block when the condition is false, namely with the else keyword. If the condition is true, the code block after the if statement will get executed. But if it's false, the code after the else statement gets executed. Besides if and else, there's another keyword you can use, namely elif. You can use elif in order to add another condition. If the first condition returns false, then Python will check if the condition in the elif statement returns true. And if that's the case, that code block will get executed. However, if the first condition already returns true, only the code block in the if statement will run. The rest of the elif and else block won't run, even if the condition in the elif statement also returns true. Code within the code blocks after an if, elif, or else statement can also contain conditional code. If the person's age is exactly 18, which can happen since we initially check if the age is greater or equal to 18, we'll print you're exactly 18 years old. If that's not the case, it means that the person is older than 18 years old. They cannot be younger since the first if statement's condition wouldn't have had returned true in that case. The while keyword allows you to execute code as long as a certain condition is true. This means that the code block can run repeatedly as long as the condition returns true. Let's say that we want to play a little guessing game with our users. We have a secret number that they have to guess between 0 and 5. And as long as they didn't guess the number correctly, we'll prompt them again until they guessed it correctly. When the user guessed the number right, namely the number 3, the condition guess is not equal to the secret number returned false, and the while code block didn't get run. Just like the if statement, a while statement can also accept an else block. Let's congratulate the user when they guessed the number correctly. When the user guessed the number correctly, the condition for the while statement returned false and the else code block got executed instead, which printed the text, congratulations, you got it. Another way of executing code repeatedly based on certain values is with a for loop. This is an example of a for loop. First, let's look at the range function. The range function is responsible for generating all the desired values of the control variable. In our example, the function will create values from 0 till 9. Then there's i, which is the control variable of the loop. This variable counts the loop's turns automatically. You can also add a first argument to the range function in order to determine the initial value. Normally, the code block in a for loop will keep running as long as it's in range. However, in some cases, we don't want to continue the loop after a certain event happened, since it may just be unnecessary. Let's say that we want to stop the execution for the for loop if the current value of i is 2. We can do this by creating an if statement to check if the current value is 2. And if that's the case, we break out of the loop with the break keyword. Execution now goes like the following. i is now equal to 2. The if statement returns true, which means that Python stops the execution of the loop. In some cases, instead of breaking out of the loop, we just want to skip the current iteration. This means that for specific values within that range, the code block won't get executed. You can do this with the continue keyword. i is now equal to 2, which means that the iteration will be skipped. 
Nothing will be printed. Instead, Python will just go to the next value. Let's recap what we've learned in this section. With an if-else statement, you can run code conditionally. The while keyword allows you to execute code as long as a certain condition is true. This means that this code block can run repeatedly as long as the condition returns true. And lastly, a for in loop is another way of executing code repeatedly based on the elements in a sequence.